Hey, what's going on, guys? Appreciate you guys for joining my channel. This is Out Here Trucking, and I just finished up another excellent day despite the BS that I went through today, uh, which brings me to my topic. I ain't gonna talk to you guys uh, too long today. I, I just gotta, I, I gotta get this off my chest, man, on a small little rant, man. Yo, guys, today the words, plural with an S, the words for the day work ethic work ethic work ethic work ethic work ethic guys it don't matter if you're a truck driver or it, regardless of what you're doing you gotta have great work ethic in this world man it's gonna take you far in life man it's gonna open up new opportunities more opportunities people respect you you know what I mean like the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I'm in the flatbed division. 99% of the uh, product of the freight that I'm hauling is taken off with a forklift. Every now and again, I have a couple of small little loose boxes, whatever, but like, like chill. 99% of what I'm take, what was taken off, coming off with a forklift. Now, when I go to most lumber yards, I mean a real legit, you know, lumber yard, most of those guys, they got trucks coming in and, in and out all the time. They're trying to get those guys unloaded. They got customers that they deal with. Typically, they know what they they about. They they about that action. They know what they're doing. They they typically don't keep us uh, truck drivers held up. But man, when I go to like places like Home Depot and Lowe's, guys, I understand they paying you guys thirteen dollars an hour. You're not making nothing. I know that's that, that, that's that's nothing. I understand that they, they want you to handle the truck drivers, handle the uh, uh, the customers. Uh, up front you know, all the different um all the different um um what you call them the contractors that come in and out of there i get it but yo man yo if you don't want to work don't come to work that day but i understand most of y'all come to work because you, you need the job you need the money you know even though it's 13 dollars an hour or whatever they pay you but guys man yo all right we got to have some type of uh, allegiance with each other, man. We all working together. I'm bring, I'm the one bringing the product so the customers can come get the product so y'all guys can stay in business. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, don't, ho don't, don't hold me up. I don't understand it, man. A lot of times I come to these places, man, and they'll see me, my, my truck pull up. Pew! They, they, like... <laughs> Them dudes try to haul ass, man, as fast as they can. All you know, doing everything they can, to duck and dodge work, all because I don't know, man. They just, I don't know. Maybe they feel like they overworked and underpaid. I mean, yeah, you signed up for the job, but guys, like, there gotta be a different solution, you know. Actually, believe it or not, staying busy actually helps your day, you know, go by. A lot of people just come to work and all they're doing is constantly counting down, counting down, counting down the tape, which makes the day go slow. Ducking and dodging work and like, come on, man, you don't you don't want to do that on the job. You don't want to be that uh, that employee. Nobody nobody respects a guy who ducks and dodge works and try to pass the buck a lot, man. So that's what I'm saying, man. You just I don't know if, if work ethic is, is uh, uh characteristic that has to be instilled in an individual you know when they're young maybe they can have a mentor or something or whatever i'm not sure you know um the disconnect but man i'm you know it's a lot of it. now uh, let me let me uh let me correct myself real quick it's not all home depots and it's not all lows a lot of home depots and lows those guys, they, they do have the mentality the same way a lot of these lumber yards um, have. We come in and hey, uh, they know that I'm only getting a couple of, uh, I mean, that they're getting a couple of items coming off of the truck. Boom, let me hop on the lift. I'll take care of you. But man, it is a, a lot, man. And I'm talking about more than I would like to deal with. A lot of people that just, they got the wrong attitude, man. And I don't, man. I just, I don't, I don't. I can't respect it, man. I can't respect it. You know what I mean? I can't respect it at all. I don't care. Like I said, I understand they paying you guys crap, but still, man, take pride in your job because your job. I mean, like, what did Jody say to uh, P and, and, and uh, Baby Boy? 
the commerce, man. Commerce, nigga. The exchange of goods and services. Every day when we wake up, we that's what we're doing, man. This world spins and revolves around business, especially what I do, you know what I'm saying? Like, everything revolves around business. So, like, yo, man, like, get it together, man. You got to change your attitude. And, you know, maybe that's, I don't know, sure, maybe that's what, that's the thing that you can only do for at the particular time. Man, listen, man, might want to uh, take some of that money that you're getting and invest in CDL school. They do have CDL schools on the weekend as well, because most of you guys are working, you know, Monday through Friday or, uh, well, no, nah, Home Depot guys work Saturday and Sunday, but, hey, man, it's definitely worth the investment to take off Saturdays and Sundays so you can invest and get your CDL, you know, your CDL um, driver's license. And that way you can come up off that 14 I mean, you can come up off that uh, forklift and start making that $13 an hour, man, and, and start getting to some real money, man. And <laughs> you can stop pissing a lot of truck drivers off because, geez, man, like, oh, hey, I ain't really mean to go too far off the deep end, but it's just... Uh, some individuals I dealt with at, at some some uh, Home Depots today, they just, I don't get it, man. They do anything they can to duck and dodge work. And I'm like, yo, man, let's just, no work ethic. So, moral of the story, man. Like, you gotta change your attitude, man. Like I said, people will, will respect you more. And you'll get much, much further in life, man. That's a snapple fact. So... Hey, I'm actually about to get off my exit. Um, it's almost, it's about 12.20, or close to 12.20. I came in, I think, like quarter to, I think I came in at like quarter to three, or I might have got to the yard at 2.30. So, actually wasn't, a, 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 wasn't that bad of a day, you know what I'm saying, regardless of whatever, whatever happened earlier. So, I'm good, man. I'm Gucci. I'm about to enjoy my Friday. I'm about to go home, take care of what I got to take care of, work ethic. <laughs> that way I can relax and enjoy the rest of my weekend. So I hope you all do the exact same thing. Thank you guys for tuning into my channel. This is Out Here Trucking. Please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. Come on, man. What you doing? Come on, man. Yeah. Some of y'all four-wheelers, man. Y'all need to have y'all license revoked. I don't know what y'all doing. I'm gonna do a video on that too, man. You guys, like four wheelers. Four wheelers is cold for just a regular, you know, a regular car or any, any anything on four wheels, whether it's a car or a truck. That's what we truck drivers call you guys, four wheelers. I'm gonna do a video on, on proper road etiquette and, and how to uh, maneuver around trucks. Cause some of y'all, man, either y'all just either y'all don't know or y'all just. I don't know, man. Cause some of y'all, y'all, y'all really uh, risking y'all lives out here hopping in front of these trucks. So, but anyway, you y'all have a good weekend. Thank you for joining the channel. Forgive me for having juicy mouth. I gotta, sp <laughs> I gotta spit. So yeah, it's a <laughs> I don't know, man. My, my my mouth's always just see. You know I'm saying there's a lot of fluid that be coming up. So you know, pause. <laughs> but uh. Yeah, man. Y'all, I'll talk to y'all on the next video, man. Appreciate y'all for joining my channels out here trucking. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I will catch y'all on the next video. Appreciate y'all.